what's up everyone? This is Jason Tucker. This is SSS Veda. What is up? So today is, they call it Shout Out Saturday. And um, they want me to pick somebody to shout out to. So um, I wanted to give a special shout out over to Phil Campbell. I think Phil and I are related and we don't even know it. Because um, he, just like I, um, enjoy doing video stuff, doing social media stuff, programming, web development, all those sorts of things. But um, he also, just like me, um, forgot to uh, to vlog yesterday. <laughs> uh, so um, I'm gonna end up recording that one after this one and uh, see how that goes. So. Um, yeah, shout out to Phil Campbell. He lives in the UK. He um, he he is like the most interesting person. He lives in what they call a caravan or a van, and lives at this really cool park that he's always walking around in. I'm always jealous of him walking around this really interesting park that he lives at, and um, just kind of sucks up all of the. The awesome nature that's out there. I just realized I have the camera like um, <laughs> right under the, the steering wheel. That's hilarious. But I'm driving. I'm not looking at that. So um, go check out Phil's Phil's channel. He he does great work and he's just a really cool dude. And if you've never uh, have read about Phil or any of the stuff that he does. Go check out his um, his channel. I'll put a link here. People keep saying Phil, and I keep turning around every single time, even though there is four Phils here. Hello. Hang on. Now I've got to go and record something. We've all been cleaning up a little bit tonight, but now we're doing little interviews with BBC, and they want us to sit around doing various shots as we we're cleaning up and things. So you can go click on that and check that out. Um, let's see here. So, what's been going on? So, um, you know, these Vedas, it's funny because it's like, I feel like I just need to answer the question and then be done with it. And then I end up with like one minute's worth of content with some intro and some outro. So, I want to spend a few more minutes and talk a little bit about some other things. So, um, I love doing video stuff, but I hate video editing. Like, I'm not, I'm just not a video editor. I don't do any video editing work or anything like that. So um, I try my best to get out of doing video editing as much as possible. And so one of the things that I really, I really appreciate YouTubers, what YouTubers do is they'll put some annotations at the end of their video with like an outro that just shows a bunch of videos playing and then you can select from which one and then be able to um, go from there. So, um, I've always wanted to do that with my videos, and I'll actually do that with this video and the other video, too. Um, I've always wanted to do that, but I've never had, like, the skills to pull it off, um, easily. Uh, I really don't want to load up, you know, Final Cut and drag in a bunch of files, build out a template, wait for it to render, spit it out, do something with it. So what? Um, so I started digging around online, trying to find something that just does this, and just does it really well, and it just kind of handles everything. So there's this website called Outro. I think it's Outro.com if I remember correctly. Again, more notes. I'll, I'll I'll put some notes in the description down below. So the site Outro, whatever it is, does this really cool thing where you give it a playlist or you give it a list of videos that you've recorded. That you want to link to and you just uh it goes and scans your you know all the videos in your youtube account then you select which ones you want it to uh present and then you can um kind of bake in those videos into um your youtube video so my workflow for it since i don't want to do a whole lot of video editing and i also just want youtube to just kind of do all the work for me <laughs> is um, I will go and take the video that I've recorded 
um, and upload it, then take the outro video that gets spit out of the outro site and upload that. And then I'll just use the built-in YouTube editor to just uh, splice those two videos together real quick and let her rip. And then I can set that video up to post at a later time. And I'll kind of go through and set up all of my description and all the tags and all that crap. And just kind of have it all ready to go so I don't have to worry about any of it. And it's all done. Which is something I guess you can't really do with Final Cut unless you're using like... Well, I guess you could. You're, you're, whole, you're saving yourself a whole step. So really, I just want to do everything online. Just edit stuff and push it up and be done with it. Which goes back to Phil Campbell. He does the exact type, same type of thing. He actually does video editing work um, over on Fiverr.com where you can upload your videos um, to some service that he uses. And then he'll go and download the videos, edit them, and then give you the finished product, which is pretty dang awesome. It also means that um, you're hiring him to do it so you don't have to do it yourself. Well, I'm the same way in that I just want to get this thing done and I don't really want to I don't want to build it myself so this outro site is just awesome for that um, I think it costs per month for it but the amount of videos that I put out every month it's well worth it and it just I think it's like two bucks or something it's like it's ridiculously cheap but it takes all of the pain points out because the next pain point to this is okay so now you've done all of that how do you deal with um, the annotations for all of it? So I did a project called Hallway Track, or I'm doing a project called Hallway Track, where what I do is I, um, I interview people at um, word camps, which are like WordPress conferences. <clears throat> and I interview them in the hallway and that's why it's called the hallway track. <laughs> so um, it's it's usually a series, so I'll crank out like 14 of them or 15 of them or something and um, get those all edited. There we go. Get those all edited and then after I'm done, I'll, I'll, I'll upload all those to YouTube. Then I'll use the outro site to generate all of the um, the outros for me or the outro for me and then I'll put that on every single one of those videos using YouTube's built-in video editing suite and then when I'm done with that what ends up happening is I'm able to um, generate the outro uh, annotations built into this thing so what it does is it uses a bookmarklet to um, create those annotations for you and also ta uh, cards so for people that are using uh, a mobile device they'll be able to see the card show up as well on YouTube and it just does it all for you and you don't have to do anything it just it just works so um, I've been using that for a while now and I absolutely love it so I just recently did it with our most recent episode of WP Blab which is another WordPress thing that I do um, where we used to use blab.fm to record video, now using uh, FireTalk. And so um, with that thing, what I'm able to do is take all of those videos that we've done in the past and add those as an outro and then create the video file, create the annotations and all that crap, then uh, upload that video and then reuse that video over and over again so that way I can promote all of the old episodes of the show. And at some point, I'll essentially season out the thing and just show newer stuff for newer content and then just kind of keep the ball rolling like that. So that's it. Uh, outro. So if you're doing a bl uh, if you're doing this SSS Veda, um, I'd highly recommend checking out Outro and um, give it a try and see if you can maybe get people to watch your previous episodes. So I'll do that and you'll see it right after this. So go to my website, jasontucker.us slash SSS Veda. That's where all these videos are at. My blog, jasontucker.us, is where I post a whole bunch of fun stuff over there. And um, I run a show called WP Water Cooler, which is like a network of shows all about WordPress web development. All right, folks. See you later. I'm going to